Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk about all the market movements and stuff that we saw today. A lot of new content today, objectives, a new uh, storyline players. We got SBCs, we got a kid SBC that requires an 82 rated squad. We got a 12th man in C uh, Team of the Year CR7 with 99 rated CR7, which I don't think a lot of people expected a 99 rated card. They just absolutely juiced his card. So I want to talk about that. Of course, the Marcelo flashback SBC and the second set of the icon swaps objectives and how that uh, kind of is playing into <laughs> how that uh, icon swaps is just not looking like a good and a fun thing this year. It just takes way, way, way too much grinding. So I want to start off by talking about the objectives. I didn't even mention this right away. Ziyech. Player moments Ziyech today. Look at this freaking card, man. 87 pace, 90 shot, 95 passing. 89 dribbling and 72 physical. That looks like a fantastic center attack in mid card. I do believe he has a three star weak foot, so that hurts his card a little bit. But this isn't too terribly hard to grind for. I think this is the hardest one. A Dutch touch. The objective requires you to score using air divisi players and five separate rivals wins. So you have to get five rivals wins with air divisi players, but go buy yourself some special form of an Ajax player like Promes, maybe. Go get Promes' in form if you don't have the uh, ones to watch. And maybe you can go and, and hit that up because this this card right here does look fantastic. And this is one that I would consider grinding myself, but time is the biggest issue. You know, you have six days to do it, so it is. You know, you could you could chip chip away at it, and it's not like you have to do the icon swaps right away because those you know we have 20 days basically for those. And I think the interesting thing that you can see here, it's kind of behind my face came up here in the top right, but they named this season the New Year's season, and it is. It goes for basically three weeks. It's a three-week season, 21 days long. We got new objectives on the season progress. And I think that's also why they named those upgrade packs the New Year's Premier League upgrades. Because I think they just are kind of like putting everything else into the season, right? So this is the New Year's season. That's why those finally explains why those upgrade packs that we have were called the New Year's upgrades. Um, but the coolest thing about this, you get a nice uh, Prime Kaka loan card. The coolest thing about this is though... Look at level 14. At level 14, you have the option of a storyline player as a reward. Either you get Tomiyasu, uh, I, th I think that's how you say his name, and that's going to provide a nice little green link to uh, Scream Medell right there. Just thought about that right now since both of those guys uh, are from the Serie A and they're both on Bologna. Had a look at the team. Five-star weak foot as a center back. Pretty nice looking card. Medium high work rates. So that is ideal. Uh, obviously, we're looking at team of the year cards now, so stuff like this kind of looks a little bit less, you know, beastly uh, compared to a team of the year card, but it looks fun. It looks cool. Kasaris as well. Looks like a pretty nice card. It's just cool to get a storyline card at level 14, right? I have not gotten any storyline cards at any point this year just because I don't have enough time to grind the objectives. Uh, I would rather grind the coins. Uh, but getting those cards at level 14 is kind of cool. So I'll probably end up getting those. Uh, and then Awar and Felipe Anderson are two very interesting choices. This Felipe Anderson comes out. I mean, there's a lot of left mids in the Prem. This one, I mean, this card looks pretty juiced, pretty solid card. Uh, but I think you have, if you're going to grind all the way to the end here, I think I would pick Awar. I mean, I don't think he's going to get a Future Stars card this year. I don't know if he's like on pace for a team of the season, but this might be the best version of an AOR card that you could use in your side. There's obviously a lot of French center mids in this game, but a box-to-box -box, uh, guy like this, you might be able to play him at center tagging mid if you want to. But to me, he looks like a box-to-box a -box center mid. Those are some pretty nice uh, options from the storyline right there. And I think that is it from objectives, except... For the new icon swaps and for the new icon swaps we have premier league league on and syria and you have to you have to win four games a piece rivals matches for those tokens and then efl championship and scottish premiership interesting you have to have seven championship players and four scottish premiership players interesting uh 11 portuguese players and then 11 air Divisie players again so uh more icon swaps and i actually heard earlier today that there was a point in time in this game where, oh, and a Kaká Tifo as well. That's actually really sweet. If you're a Kaká fan, uh, grind this one out. Get that Prime Icon Kaká that you can get from the um, from the season progress and then get that Tifo if you really want to. But I heard there was a kind of like, oh, there's also a lone Team of the Year Ronaldo. I totally forgot about this too. A seven-year lone Team of the Year Ronaldo card, uh, which this, this Tifo is kind of sick, right? Score a header in squad battles on minimum semi-pro difficulty. That's kind of a cool Tifo, I guess, with the Team of the Year logo. Uh, but I think it's interesting that they're giving this out 
to everybody. I mean, just because it's the team of the year 12th player. Um, but I don't think it's going to impact the market too much, really. I guess I guess people could have a... If you get that loan card, people will have that card in the year for the rest of the year if they want to use it in friendlies or whatever. So that's a little bit of a cheat code there, I guess. And that could come down to haunt us. Actually, you know what? Make sure you get this card because if there is stuff that is related to friendlies in terms of objectives later on in the year, obviously friendlies doesn't count contracts, fitness, or injuries, or red cards and stuff like that. People having this card in your club, even if it's a loan, if we have to do objectives and friendlies down the road, this could be a huge, huge help for that. Just kind of thought of that right now. Uh, so maybe you do try to grind and get this card, uh, whatever it takes. It doesn't look like it takes too much. So just a little thought there. But supposedly earlier today, icon swaps were able to be completed in, uh, you could do the icon swaps online objectives in the friendlies or in squad battles. I heard that was happening. That's, that's pretty nuts, honestly, like some sort of a glitch uh, or whatever with that. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, and have anybody else, have you had problems with the menus today? The menus for me have been have been very, very slow, uh, just to put that out there as well. But SBC content for today, we got the flashback Marcelo card. Honestly, underwhelming because I think the upgrade that they gave him was just not enough. I would have loved to see him be a 90 rated card. If he would have had 80 shooting, if he would have crested closer to 90 pace, closer to 90 passing, and then obviously higher defense and physical. I think a lot more people would have gone and done this card. Um, and if you would have kept the price the same and just given the card a bigger boost, it would have been a lot more fun to craft, right? We're crafting a lot of SBCs right now as people are just smashing upgrade packs and doing that kind of stuff. I mean, it requires 285 rated squads with informs and an 86. So to me, that's just not worth it. If you did the Foot Miss Mendy, way better left back card than Marcelo in my opinion. But if you need that Marcelo, if you're if you're a Real Madrid fan, then go get it, man. Go go get it if that's something that you want to grind. This was the other joke on the day, and I did I didn't see this right away, but I think this is hilarious. Team of the Year Signature Series kit. Now, okay, it is a pretty sick kit, but 82 82 rated squad and 70 chemistry to get this kit, man. You need 70 chem, which is outrageous for a kit SBC, and you need Dude, I can't believe it, man. Now, the kit does look sick, yes, but am I going to put an 82 squad in for this kit? No, I'm really not going to do it. I mean, yes, it would look nice if my first owner pack pulled Team of the Year Conte would be wearing this kit, but you know what? He looks fine wearing the 100 Thieves kit, which is my normal kit right now, so we're going to leave it at that. And I think those are all the other SBCs that we got today. We got a promise of another SBC coming out, and I want to talk to you guys about that right now. We are going to be getting another SBC on Monday. EA Sports FIFA tweeted this this morning, and I had this I had this completely wrong. I thought this was going to be Kevin De Bruyne, and I'll, I mean, I'll be honest, boys. I thought it was KDB, and then Trent Alexander-Arnold goes out and wins this award for this month. Now, this card looks just kind of paltry compared to his new Team of the Year item, right? But this SBC, I would imagine, would be somewhere around the range of like 100, 120,000 coins at the most, maybe 150. It's a plus two boost from his inform. Uh, so, we, you know, it, it's not a bad card, right? If you don't pack the team of the year, uh, Alexander Arnold, or you can't afford the coins to go out and get that card, this SBC, if it's priced cheap, which I hopefully, I hope that it is, somewhere around 100K, uh, that would be something you could go and craft or maybe open up some upgrade packs for from the Prem so that you have some stuff in your club to maybe go and do this SBC. But the fact that this SBC is not out until Monday also makes me interested in possibly maybe snagging some investments for it later at some point this weekend, maybe picking up some like 83s or 84s uh, that are Liverpool players like a Genie Wijnaldum, uh, possibly could be a decent investment, picking up one or two of those, maybe even a, you know, an impacts, uh, a card that is impacts for sure. You don't want to buy the Trent gold card because that is definitely up in price as an 83 rated since he's out of packs, but uh, this could be something you might buy a few, maybe an inform or two for. I don't, you know, if they if they make this a hundred thousand coin SBC, they might just make it one eighty five or eighty six rated squad. You know, eighty five rated squad with an inform, maybe like one hundred twenty k at that, or a little less than that actually, since eighty fives are kind of cheap right now. That would be the type of SBC I would imagine for an Alexander Arnold. But I did want to point that out to you guys as well. Let's get on to. Uh, the market and what happened today with this game. Basically, we saw a lot of market movements again with the team of the year cards. It was basically just like yesterday. It was just like yesterday where a lot of these cards were panic sold heading into the 6 p.m. UK. And it, this is a trend that we've been seeing literally all year. 
panic selling of cards heading into 6 p.m. UK, and then a quick, rapid, and very, uh, very insane buyback on a lot of these cards. Now, uh, Mane right now, team of the year Mane is 2.64 million, 2.61 according to Footbin. Look at his graph from today. Look at what happened today. The man went down to 2.5. He was he was almost 2.5 flat at one point. Rebounded right back up to 2.75, and now he's back down. This exact th same thing happened on Thursday as well. Watch this. Dip, 2.5, boom, 2.8. Today, 2.5, boom, 2.7, to almost 2.8, I guess, again, 2.75. Um, and I don't think these guys are done dropping yet. So if you have not purchased a team of the year card yet, if you have not bought in the 6 p.m. panic, I still think there's going to be more opportunities for these cards to continue dropping uh, since they're in pack the extra days. The extra day this year, they go out of packs on Tuesday. And just the way that people are they are panic selling these cards, uh, these I feel like these aren't getting treated like a normal team of the year would. Like last year, Team of the Year's rose uh, on Saturday and Sunday, and they just basically rose from Friday when everybody opened packs, and they rose out of packs, right? But EA is continually supplying these cards on the market. These Team of the Year's actually, now this is my first year on PlayStation, so everything seems to have a lot more supply than what I'm used to uh, in years past being on Xbox, uh, but there's a lot of supply on this Mane card. I kind of feel like for a Team of the Year item, 97 rated, it's nighttime right now. Let me check how many transfers are after this. There are five, six, seven pages of money. So six and a quarter pages of money. There's only three million live transfers. Today in the peak of the day, how many live transfers were there? Let me check on Footbin. So there's 3.5 million transfers today, uh, right now. At max, it was 5.5. Yesterday, though, there were 7.4 million live transfers. 7.4 million live transfers on this game. So there's only seven or eight pages. It's probably like maybe around around double of that of Mane during the day, which I, I still think is a lot of supply for a card like that on this game. So I think the team of the years have a little bit more space to drop. I really do. Um, I think they have a little bit more potential to drop. I really think De Young has a chance to get lower. I know a lot of people want this card. I understand why you want this card. It looks freaking sick. All of these team of the years do. He was at 1675 today. He's 1794. Uh, and again, if you look at all the team of the years, they had that same jump. I don't know if KDB did actually. As you, as you get to the higher tiers, that, that jump is a little bit less. But KDB went from 2.6 up to 2.9. So he had a jump as well. All these cards kind of get around their cheapest an hour or two before the 6 p.m. Uh, new content. Basically, that's what we're seeing during the days that people are panic selling these cards before 6 p.m. comes out. Whatever SBC comes, they open a few packs or whatever, and they go buy these cards right back. Now, is this going to happen in the next couple of days into the weekend? I'm not entirely sure because if you think about it, why would people be buying these cards back right now? What are people doing in this game that they want to buy these cards back? And that is easy to answer, and that is the weekend league. People are playing weekend league. People are getting ready for Weekend League, and right now they're trying to finish their games. And that's why you saw these cards rebound so much on Thursday and Friday, is people getting their Weekend League squads ready. Here's Conte at 2.2 million coins, 2.29. Um, so that card is down a little bit from where he jumped up to like 2.35 earlier today, I think, is what he was at. So uh, I do think I'm going to see these Team of the Year's trend downwards a little bit this weekend. Because people are, again, if we get a big SBC today, right? Uh, obviously, we got Marcelo, which is nice. We've had Neuer. He's gone. Um, Ber moments, Bernardo Silva was very nice. Ziyech was nice. Uh, Iniesta flashback was nice. But I do think we are due a couple more SBC cards, right? So we've had two player moments, and we've had three flashbacks. So we are due um, one more player moments and one more flashback SBC. Is that correct? Yo, EA, can I load the SBC menu? Can I please load and look at your your terribly uh, not good value Marcelo SBC? Never mind. Maybe I can't. Maybe my whole game is just frozen. Uh, what's going on here, EA Sports? Anyway, boys, as I was saying before EA decided to kick me out of the game and make me load back in so I could access their game. I don't know what is going on with the servers. They're just incredibly slow. I guess EA is figuring that they're dropping too many Team of the Years in people's upgrade packs. Like I'm seeing on Twitter, people pack so many upgrades. Uh, that they have to slow the servers down so that people try to get they try to get people off the game and get people mad. I guess I don't know, but it's that's crazy to me uh, that the servers are slow right now. It's like it's like mid kind of late nighttime. There's probably not a ton of people on the game. I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, I was talking about SBCs. If we get a Pogba SBC, if we get a big time SBC that is quote unquote good value for the player that it is, 
especially like a Pogba that's a team of the year caliber player. Okay, like I said, we have uh, two, one more flashback and one more player of moments that is due to us, I think, based on the number of water bottles that we saw in those, uh, in those, you know, pre team of the year loading screens. I do think we have a couple more of those players coming at us still. Um, but, um, yeah, I think those SBCs could affect the prices of team of the year cards a little bit. And we'll see what happens with those when they come out. So, you know, if you have a weekend league team still, I've been watching a lot of icons today. And I want to talk about this next. A lot of these cards, again, boomed today. I missed a huge, huge deal on a Stoikov today. 1.5 mil flat. It actually sat for two minutes, this card. He was 1.6 and somebody undercut 100K. And I looked at this graph and I thought, okay, that's a, that's a solid deal. But I was kind of worried about Ronaldo. I was kind of worried about that Ronaldo card, but it came out and it was just way, way, way too expensive. So obviously a card like this wouldn't be panic sold too much for a Ronaldo when the Ronaldo is that expensive. And now, as you can tell, this Stoikov is selling for around like one, six, seven. So I could have made some really nice profit on this card, uh, but I was able to snag some pretty nice deals today. And I want to look at through some of these icons as well, because the days like this, and when you see the icons moving this much, We've seen them move a ton in the couple days past. Like if we looked at, at the daily graph on icons for Footbin, this doesn't even show you the lowest point. On Monday, it says the market index was 58. The market index on Sunday and Monday actually reached a low point of 53 points. And now we are up to 62. So we are almost up an entire 10 point swing on the icon market, which is huge. Some cards are up like three, 400,000 coins from where they were on Monday. Uh, which is nuts and it just shows you again how many coins have been put onto this game and this market is be is going to become very very fun to trade with again you know you guys were having problems with team of the year cards or weren't a lot of buyers everybody was preparing for the promo now we're going to have a lot of people with coins again on this game flipping cards trying out icons trying out special cards and doing stuff on the game and it should make flipping, it should make chem style trading, it should make just make normal icon flipping and normal flipping of special cards, team of the year nominees, team of the group stages, informs, and of course, uh, screams, should make it a lot easier. Road to the finals as well, because people have coins and they're willing to go out and buy those cards. It's not just people sitting back and waiting for a promo. They're gonna be doing stuff in the games. I bought this Roberto Carlos today at 990,000 coins, sold it for 1.1 mil, do the math. All I know is that's good money. I bought this Desai at 629,000 coins, sold it for 685. That was a nice one as well. And I honestly still have some of my Thursday flips, man. I undersold this card big time. This guy's like 190 now. Crazy how much that team of the week boomed. Uh, and I got tons and tons of lazy buyers this weekend. Uh, I got Werner to sell at 175. He's still like 160 or 150. All these Ben Yetters at 200,000 coins that I sold, I bought them for 155 to 160K. This I bought at 89. I bought these at 75 when he got the team of the week, the dynamics upgrade. And then I still have a couple cards to sell, a couple icons. I got a Burkamp that I'm probably going to cut even on. Uh, and then some Allisons that I bought under 100,000 coins. Uh, that I'm still trying to dish out as well. And I'm going to get all those cards dished out tonight, uh, Friday night into Saturday. As I, I, I see it right now, people are already selling off their cards for the weekend because you can tell some of these icons are getting listed up as undercuts on the 59th minute and they're open bids. That really shows me that people are finishing the weekend league early and they're getting their cards out of their teams and getting them out of the club because they're just done, right? I've seen multiple of these Del Pieros listed for open bids which is very, very interesting to me. Uh, and I would be very careful with this guy's price since he's in icon swaps. Uh, but again, I, I didn't mention icon swaps that much. We got six more swap tokens, right? So that means we can only get six more swap tokens for 20 days. 20 more days it's gonna take, you have 12 swap tokens if you do all of them in 20 days. It's just crazy, man. The, the, the swap tokens promo and the cards that were especially in this swap too needed to be way better than they are than they are they needed to be way way better the choices that we have for icon swaps i don't even think i'm going to end up doing this icon swaps promo the only thing i would end up doing would be 89 vandersar if i pack vvd or delict that would be the only thing that i would be i would go a grind for but i just packed team of the year allison so actually you know what i'm not going to be doing vandersar so i'm probably not going to be participating in these icon swaps because i would rather just trade do other things on the game 
and not try to grind my butt off for a two baby icons that are the two upper, upper tier cards and then a then a prime Essien who's really the only one that's quote unquote worth it from this set in my opinion because you're not going to get this card until basically March right the end of February the middle of February so I just don't feel like it's worth it for this icon swap so be careful with that if you're really grinding it I just I really don't feel like it is worth it um, but then again you should see a weekly sell off today on Saturday you should see some things start to go down uh, it's going to be a great time to get on the market and look at some of these informs and some of the specials again on the weekly sell-off stuff that boomed this week right you want to pay attention to the stuff that really really boomed this week pick it up on the low pick it up on the panic sell and it should be a good flip next week as well it should be rising because next week uh obviously we have the promo of future stars in the back of our minds kind of like ready to go is it coming but we don't know yet and a lot of stuff last year the out of pack specials did pretty decent uh that week afterwards because people didn't really know uh, that Future Stars was coming. So maybe a tiny bit of a sell-off heading into Future Stars, but I really, really don't just don't see it. We'll talk more about that as we get further into the weekend. And I want to lastly talk about high-rated golds. I know some of you guys, some of you guys have been buying these players already. I think we are in the time frame that it could be a go for a club stock. And, and if you want to buy a few extra to put on your transfer list, Go for it because we're getting more and more SBCs over these last couple of days. And again, I've mentioned this multiple times. Once the upgrade SBCs go away, some of these SBCs are still going to be lingering out here in the squad section, right? Some of these SBCs are still going to be here. Player Moments of Bernardo Silva has eight days remaining. Flashback Marcelo, eight days remaining. Uh, Flashback Dial Luis, 17 days remaining. Some of these SBCs for players, and we still have, of course, uh, probably another flashback and another player moments SBC that are coming along with Trent player of the month and uh, well league on player of the month's not gonna be for 14 days but another Bundesliga player of the month coming in a few days those SBCs are gonna be out people are gonna have coins and especially if people are crafting these packs right here you know what let's open a couple on stream just for fun at the end of this video people are crafting these gold upgrade packs I'm rinsing my Premier League upgrade players into these two player packs People are opening these packs. They're going to be getting higher rated players in their team. They're going to have SBCs halfway completed. So they're going to go out and have to finish those SBCs that they started, right? So that's why I think club stocking and maybe buying a few of some of the 84, 85, 86, 87s is not a bad shout, in my opinion, uh, just because of the fact that people are going to be finishing SBCs after the promo ends. And uh, there's going to be a lot of the SBCs in the store. So we'll look up a little bit closer at that on Sunday. You want to buy kind of the optimal time. Not as many people are thinking about that. So if, if you're scared that an SBC could come today on Saturday, that's a big boy SBC like a Pogba or a Zlatan Ibrahimovic, then maybe you pick up those cards today sooner rather than later. Um, but other than that, I think you might have an opportunity to pick those up on Sunday or Monday yet as well so again this is basically all that i'm doing right now on foot like on live streams when i'm not live streaming when i'm not talking about the market on a video i am basically ripping these upgrade packs and i have had i feel like i've had good luck so far i'm still on the initial initial surge of all of my packs i've spent eight hundred and fifty thousand coins going unassigned on prem rare golds that i was going to put in these sbcs the sbcs came out we have a board it's not a walkout the sbcs came out they didn't require require prem players so my investment was still decent though because I got them all at like 750, 800 coins max, and you know some of those cards now are like 900 to 1,000 coins for some of those for some of those rares. Um, but I put 850,000 coins into these packs. I had like 120 packs, and I've been rinsing them um, a lot. But the real good value has come from the guys that I have packed. I packed Team of the Year Allison, my first ever Team of the Year card. I actually skipped the pack. There's a clip on my Twitch page of me skipping that card coming out of the pack. And then right before I went to bed last night, I packed myself an untradeable Team of the Year Conte card. Unbelievable, man. Never packed Team of the Years before. And it seems like a lot more people are packing this year, but I will take it. 97 Conte, 97 Allison in my team for the rest of the year. They're going to have to be in the squad. The, the player that I really, really want now is, of course, VVD. I would love I would love to get a Virgil van Dyke card, uh, and then I would have to switch up the team a little bit, but uh, it would be worth it, and I would love to get a Virgil van Dyke team of the season, team, team of the year, excuse me, team of the year card. So I probably won't end up, end up buying a card like that as we just got a sale. What is this sale? 
The sale is Burkham coming in. All right, so we broke even on that card, but it's good to have coins, possibly another icon flip and coming there. So yeah, boys, if you're still ripping the upgrades, which is what I'm going to be doing through the rest of this weekend, to be honest with you, good luck, have fun. Uh, this video has become way longer than what I uh, certainly anticipated it was going to be at first. So I apologize for that. Uh, but hopefully you guys have good pack pulls. Let me know if you pack anything good. Check my Twitter link in the description. And don't get trolled by these freaking UCL cards, man. They troll me every single time that I get a board or a walkout and then it's a UCL. So I hate those. But hopefully you guys are packing some team news as well. Again, let me know if you are packing those. Uh, and yeah, boys, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if, if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.